guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, La Nova de Mort, the Death Star with Imperial Officers, and we, we have a big, big, big problem. We left off last time with the death of Tian Jarjerut, uh, I think that's probably how you're supposed to pronounce his name there, and that means there is a big problem with our food supply, because as you can see, there is food on the branches, and I know what's happened here, we've got a problem with our job allocation. If we come down to Jester Dexter, he's the guy, he's our cook, and as you can see, he does everything. Everything. I don't want him to do everything because that means he gets sidetracked by like the nine uh, building jobs that I put down and go This has to be done before anything else. No, it doesn't get done before anything else Not before cooking and probably not before harvesting as well, but everybody harvests so I, I think that should work out all right uh, another thing Oh, the lack of water is real. So I'm going to do something that's probably a little bit ill-advised. But, you know, whatever. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to pop that in there. The reason it's a little bit ill-advised is this is hot water. Hot, hot, hot water. As I was saying last time, it's about 60 degrees centigrade. That's uh, that's too hot, really, to be putting into our food. But we're going to do it anyway. Like, I mean, like we, we use hot water to cook, do we not? Is that is that not a thing? I, I do, anyway. So let's see how all this plays out. It, we could could very well lose people to starvation in the time that it takes for things to get fixed but we're, we're gonna sit back and see what's going on these guys down here what, what are you even doing are oh, you're shipping algae around okay that's that's a thing uh what are we gonna do today i think today is mainly a day of going oh my gosh i think things need to get sorted out things like the food things like the oxygen oxygen was kind of going all right and definitely building up a bigger uh, supplies than we had. I think we could do with another one of these units. Not down here where all the pressure is super high and that these things never work because there's so much pressure. No, we should do them somewhere else. Maybe somewhere up here uh, as we are getting onto the realm of being able to clean all this out. Another thing I wanted to do was the balm lilies and for finals, the last thing I want to do is get a much bigger battery store going on down here. We'll maybe sort of start taking this over as we are out of water on this side. Make a big central core of battery units going going down somewhere. Hello, this is not working the way around that I was expecting it. Dexter and Sarkil, wait, let's come back in here. Sarkil, you're not you're not a cook, man. You're not a cook. However, Targ and um, Tarkin could be. So let's let's set them on the job as they have the skills already. Honestly, a little bit scared about what this means for the rest of my base here. I'm tempted to act there. Look, the, the heat is starting to escape already. I'm tempted to put a little bit of a door system in here. I think it's a good idea. What should we make it out of? Something like, oh, nice and resistant to temperatures. But it doesn't turn out that I've got anything resistant to temperatures. Okay, so we'll just put a normal one of these in. Turn this on its side. I pressed the wrong button, of course. Turn it on its side, and that should provide a nice little seal for us there. At least to uh, keep a little bit of it in. Obviously, it would have been better if we could have made it out of abyssalite. Maybe put some insulative tires. Uh, tires? Yeah, insulative tires down. Tiles would be uh, even better. And maybe I'm going to put that down. No, I don't think I am at the moment. I need to start thinking about how we're going to be extracting the water from here. So we want to get like a little bit of a pump on the go. I could definitely see me going up here like this. In fact, if we use the ladder, yeah, we're going to go ahead and actually build that all the way down. We can get a nice system coming out here. And maybe in this area will be where we do our first serious water cooling system. I'm not sure what we're going to do to to cool it down. Whether we're going to store the, the heat or try some way of of destroying it putting it into a carry medium and then destroying the carry medium i'm not sure we'll, we'll think long and hard on that uh, during this next cut okay krennic is the last person to be suffering starvation and he's eating so i think we can officially say we are on top of the food situation not to the point where we're building up stores but definitely to the point yeah where the lice loaf is getting eaten through uh, sorry, the meal lice is getting eaten through into the lice loaf. That's doing pretty well. Okay, the next problem that we had was one of oxygen. Uh, I think there'll be something to do up here. It's just a shame, and I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again. That I can't just copy and paste this section. I just want, like, from this corner to this corner, and I want to be able to replicate it up here because I know what this system's going on. Um, unable to reach food. You guys do not have access to the food because Dexter is working on it right now. Do we actually actually need to have ourselves a second full-time cook i i could see that being a thing i could definitely see that being a thing though these guys ah 
because this isn't getting worked on. So why not? This is, should be up at a seven. So what other seven jobs are in the way? There's a lot of nine jobs, aren't there? Hmm. Though none that they appear to be working on. Power's getting sorted. Okay, let's put this one up to an eight. It's, it's a slippery slope what I'm doing here. At some point we'll just like drag a five out across the whole thing again and start, start from scratch. But at the moment it seems to be working a-okay. Is this still not producing any hydrogen? Mm, yeah, well it is something that I knew would happen. It was something that I knew would happen. So the worrying heat leakage seems to not be too much of a problem. We seem to be able to keep on top of it. It probably would be a good idea to swap these out for some insulative tiles, but we're, we're doing okay for now. Also appears to actually be the tipping point where we have got too many people for the amount of food we are supplying here. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that. I think we're gonna have to build another millwood box somewhere pretty sharpish but uh, I'll show you the other things I've got working on right now up here I've got a complete carbon copy of the power system down below apart from there's a little extra gap here just to bring up a little bit more diffusion space and also this door in case people need to get through because that seems like a good idea also I'm trying to trap this water inside these tiles because I want to use them for the thimble reed was it the thimble reed that have to be submerged underwater to grow yeah look at that okay so that that's a thing that I'm doing up there. Millwood box though, probably gonna go up here. Is this too hot? It is too hot up there. Ah, that's a little bit of a of a shame. Maybe we can put it on top of this uh this this what's the word I'm looking for here? Electrolytic system. Yes. Electrolytic system. If we could, that would be great. That would be really great. Uh, these definitely want to go down on nine. So that we don't drop too much water down there. We are definitely going to drop some water, but we're going to try not dropping too much. Uh, look at this. All right, let's mop all this up while we're here as well. It's time to start doing a little bit of cleanup on this front. This means we're about to start running out of water around the system, actually. So let's start thinking about how we're going to make this work better we've got the water up here so we could bring the water in through here i'm thinking of having a holding tank here making a special cold room with the single wheeze what we've got i don't know how effective it's gonna be let's come out of here make this a p9 dig this one up as well on a g9 so someone should go and get that for me as quick as possible so holding tank here i think what we're going to do is we're going to have a liquid pipe coming up and across and then outputting somewhere about here now this is going to be quite power intensive just to see how it works first off because well i don't know how to do it without getting it out of the pipes basically not in the manner i want to do it anyway so i'm also going to put this one down this way and then this can literally just come on out i've just noticed that i'm starting to run out of some material i'm not sure which one it is actually we're going to go that way down and back in like that 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 should provide good water i hope should be good water if not i will be very very worried now this water tank i actually want to build it out of obsidian because i want good connectivity uh, thermal connectivity with the outside world i've noticed that i've got a little bit of a problem here uh, let's go down get rid of this building uh, the problem is the fact that my guys can't climb up and past it so if i can also get rid of uh, that that should allow me to now put another liquid vent just on the inside here that should leave a little bit of room just there okay cool Everything should work out a okay now. Um, I, I mean, like I, I don't see any reason for this to not work. And then I want to try and build this into a cold space. Now that this this is going to be the bit that actually is the trouble here. But I'll get back to that when these guys start building this. Let's get rid of this one here and replace that tile, and that should make everything good. In fact, I'm going to have a little bit of problem trying to get up to that liquid vent there. So if I just make a bit more laddering on the inside like that, when everything gets built, then it should be good. Poor old Piet over here. Seems to be the only guy doing any work around here. Also, we've got people... Oh, of course he's the one starving. Why, why would he not be? Is Dexter working? No, we've got Dexter being just standing around when there's power jobs need to be doing. Okay, well, let's put him onto a power job and see if that's any good. Do we need a person just for going around and doing the power? Should that what should that be Sarlik's job? Let's just turn all his jobs off and be like, you, you're a power fiend only that that's your that's your number one job as long as you can go around and give me power in the various places it's needed i will be happy is that you over there there it is okay oh will you 
breaking through. Mm, not sure if I'm too happy that I took you off of that job, but that that's fine. We'll, we'll live with that. Are you just chilling out in there? I see you're having a little bit of time with some people are still mourning. Of course, I've forgotten to place... This looks like a good spot for it. I was going to be like, Ooh, where do we put one? But yeah, of course we put it right here. Made out of granite, of course, for the uh, plus 20% tasteful bonus. And let's put it there like that. Did that just do its own work and then everybody ran away? Disgusting. Disgusting. I sometimes wonder whether it's a good idea to build little, like, out bases for people to take up residence in while they're working in these further places. I could quite easily build Krennic a cot, a mess table, a refrigerator, things like that out here so he's not always having to run back and deal with stuff over here. Speaking of, how is this starvation job going? It's pretty bad and people aren't working on this. The task is assigned. Where are you? Who, who's supposed to be doing the task? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, in fact, if we take Dexter back off of the power, there we go. There we go. That, that should work out a okay. As long as old Salik over here can carry on pushing out the power. I think we'll be alright. Should be. Oh look! Oh no! He got dropped to the floor! Disgraceful! Disgraceful! Speaking of, let's have a look down here. I want to try to take all this lot apart. In fact, I want to be on all of it. Uh, like that. Just, just take all of that down. You can also go. You've, you've served your purpose. There's nothing else to be done here. What are we going to use this central spot for now? We're, we're starting to get to the point where we can start thinking about reassigning areas. This nice little double tile is totally not necessary nowadays. Anything running through there that I've got to be mindful of? No, not that I can see. So if I come through and just go buildings, let's knock this down here. I can see me ended up moving this uh, carbon scrubber, but we'll, we'll get to that when we get to that. In fact, no, I'm going to do it now. I'm going to do it now. Just watch me. Just watch if I don't. Uh, so we can get more batteries down. Batteries are the order of the day down this way, I think. We can definitely do with having a lot more, as we appear to be burning through the power qu pretty quickly. Look at that. Yeah, that, that's ticking down far, far, far too fast. Um, what, what else are you taking down there? Is it is it just the skimmer? Please be just the skimmer. I will be very grateful if it is. Uh, these pipes are also empty, so if I go ahead and just like knock these down, we can figure out where they belong afterwards. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That seems like a great idea to me. All right, power down to the big batteries. I would like to have like a lot, something like. Oh no, that's that's not where you belong. Oh, you won't let me... See, this, this is a problem. When it puts you into an overlay, but won't allow you to destroy the stuff from that overlay. That's that's definitely an issue for me. Uh, I want buildings. Drag it across like that. Base. Ladders. Granite? Granite ladders sound good. I should really be working towards my oil reserves. They're down there somewhere. Deep, deep, deep down. Deep, deep down. Maybe I can take out these algae as well while we're at it. I'm just going to... Give these batteries a little bit of breathing room either side. I'm sure we'll end up doing something with them. In fact, if I take out this floor pro hmm, do I want to rearrange? I'm now looking, because we could quite easily have a bank of these coal generators, have two either side working all the way down. Uh, I've got a feeling that's too much for the number of batteries we've got, though. It'll be, uh, be a shame to waste that coal. Uh, so like that and up like that. As soon as this lot gets destroyed, I'll be able to carry on. Put the scrubber somewhere. I've got a feeling it's going to end up being down here. Seems like a good place. Uh, base airflow. Oh, we totally out of good stuff. Well, we've got some iron up there. We've also got some... No, that's coal. Here's a good, good batch of iron. Maybe we want to dig into that. Where else can we get some good materials? This iron down here also seems like... A, okay, let's let's go from here. I'm going to go with an 8. We're going to go in this way. Drop down a ladder. Oof. Building materials are indeed getting scarce. Okay, so we can go two either way from that. Like so? Seems like a good plan. Seems like a good plan. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, here goes the weasel. That means I want to get over here. I want to place down where it's going as quick as possible. I would like to get a mesh tile. Of course, I'm not allowed to have the mesh tile. Okay, so we'll get down a piece of furniture instead. I'm going to go with the obsidian to help pass on the temperature as quick as possible. Put that in at a level 9. I don't know if anybody's going to respect the level 9. There's the wart seed. I really wish he would have taken that with him. I mean, this should take all seeds. That's that's something I really wanted it to do, was take everything. Um, maybe people... Ah, oh, I turned it off and back on. 
adds a little unfortunate let's put that up on a nine uh, so people will take care of those jobs ideally this one the wart seed sweep nine let's just like double down on the double high priority action for that so we can get it get it going through that's what we want we want it going through as quick as possible people still collecting the water by hand i like that it's definitely adding um adding water to the things that need it yeah yeah, yeah. That, that, that'll, that'll be a phrase that'll be a phrase Maybe putting it on 9 was a bad idea. Everyone's going around and doing that over, I don't know, putting the power back on. Which uh, I kind of could have predicted now that I stop and think about it. But uh, who, who am I to do things like that? Uh, do we want to drag this down this way? Yes, I do. I think we can also then put the oxygen scrubber in there. The carbon skimmer. I don't have the materials to put it down. Come on, guys. Why aren't you digging this out yet? Ooh, here goes the wart seed. Let's... Follow him. Yes, go, go, go. Coming up, and uh, one thing I have noticed down here is something that we're going to change almost immediately is when Targ walks in here, there's nothing but carbon dioxide around, and that's not the most... Um conductive of gases no indeed it is not so i think i want to set up something else it's also going to take forever to happen but i would like to pump this a little further out look at all that chlorine oh isn't it glorious it is isn't it glorious because this is the the hydrogen that actually goes around and does some stuff so if i kind of come out yeah let's go up there like this that's probably the the mo most likely way of it actually working and then we'll just kind of pump out oh i don't have any gas vent stuff but we'll, we'll get to that uh so we can do that if i then go and turn off the gas pipe or at least deconstruct that particular gas pipe that should mean that all the hydrogen that gets produced from here ends up getting thrown over this way okay this was about 48 when i put it down yeah already we're starting to drop temperature that's good that's very very good what i kind of want to do is have insulated pipe leading all the way up to here whereupon it becomes um open to the outside i think that would be a much better way of doing this maybe and now we watch the respectful procession as we drop a body on the... Guys, guys, I was going to do a big talk and everything. Oh, I'll see you in the morning, I suppose. <laughs> morning of the great procession as we move Taran Jar Jarud up to his final resting place. Not too far away from where he passed away through a lack of food, nutrition, because Dexter Jester wouldn't get on with his work. Go on, get, get back to it. We need you to do all this. Like, seriously, you're the only person who can do it. Water, 50 kilograms. Who, who's on that? There we go. We've got people coming along and doing some stuff. It'd be great if we had another water system somewhere a little bit closer to this. Like, whilst, whilst that water was down here, this was a good sort of placement. Maybe what we want to do is actually put a pitcher pump here and have a solid water tank just just floating here just just for the kitchen i think that would be a good idea actually how do we work that out uh first off let's look at the local pipage yeah yeah it's clean water we can make that work we can definitely make that work how what why would you make a mess it's not like the toilets are out of order in fact there's two very good toilets going on that that's unacceptable unacceptable in fact there's another toilet just up there i have no idea why you would have done that because there's no water oh guys you need to need to work on this need to work on this more just this stuff here this this is the important stuff if you could just get this done that'd be great Aha, they're finally going to get more metal. Ah, oh, it's about time, which means a few of these other jobs should start getting done around here, which also means I can start, like, planning for other jobs. Like, I want to get a little liquid vent in there. I think it, I think that would be a very, very nice place. Just stop it. Stop putting down extra things. What is this? I didn't want any of these. These ones or this one or these ones over here. Wow, button must have been held down there. Okay, and then a little... Put, put that in like that 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 should be a super a-ok -okay there and we'll put a little pitcher pump there uh dexter just chilling out on the side i mean why why would you not uh everything getting done pretty good up there i'd like to reaffirm that i really want those done as quick as possible i'd also like to get these ones done on this side uh there's not quite enough stuff for the uh, pump yet i've kind of um prioritized up not prioritized i've uh queued up a whole load of jobs there what wow. like the, the the words that escaped me recently are just unbelievable like jobs a word that i use all the time one of the hardest parts of this game is just watching someone run past the, oh i was gonna say empty-handed go get some water and run back without doing any work but someone run up do one job and run away that that's also quite as um 
troubling to my organisational brain. It's like, credit. could you not have brought up some iron with you and then taken that down on the way back? Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they, they just need a little bit... A little bit uh, more careful thinking on how they plan here. I mean, it would have been good if I could have made a central collection point on the way past, I suppose. I mean, yeah, may maybe the environment could have been a little bit better for them. But look at all this stuff laying here. Like, couldn't the people who have put the ladders down taken it over to this Priority 8 storage compactor? You know, that should have got done. Just, just saying. Oh, I see a little bit of a problem coming up here. I am already pumping water. Let's tell this to disable. Are you too hot? Farm, farm plot in rock? Why? What's wrong with the farm? Ah, we're missing the foundation there. I don't remember telling that to do that, but okay. We'll go with that. Uh, more importantly, I want to tile nine on the obsidian with this one. So hopefully Krennic will come along and fix that pump before we get too much water splashing around everywhere. That would be great. No. No, it turns out not. Oh, well, we, uh, we disabled that anyway, so we shouldn't be getting too much water dropped around. Come on, Krennic. Do, do the last few bits. It's all, it's all that needs to happen. Just a couple of bits. Bye. I'll be honest, I'm a little bit worried about this Weezwort dying. That that would be a bad thing. That would be a very... What are you doing now? What, why aren't you doing any of the build? Do some building. Build! Okay, we've had the pump turned back on. Let's also mop up this bit of water down... Oh, it doesn't like it. It's too much. But hopefully this should now put a whole load down there. Oh, I've just noticed that all oh, this is a bit of a problem. I say just noticed. I've also just built all of this. So I obviously noticed just a little bit beforehand. But I've just noticed that this is not going to be pumping out until this has been uh, fixed up. Uh, and then hopefully all the problems that we've caused in today's episode just should just evaporate away. Evaporate like the water in this too hot system here. Uh, they should work out okay. Hopefully this is all going to get chilled out by this Weezwar. I'd actually like to put the Weezwar up there, but that that's probably going to take a little bit of time before we can get onto that. Uh, why, why isn't these being prioritised? Why are not these being prioritised? I don't know. I don't know. I should assume it's because people are busy digging down here. That should be a okay. Food shortage again? Really? Really, are we on a food shortage again? It says that things are kind of okay and we've got food kicking about. I just think it's more of a labour shortage than an actual a food shortage. I was also kind of hoping these guys would come along and fix this here. I think I'm just going to let this run up to cycle 100 or so and just see if we're stable. Just, just see if this will now all turn over nicely to make sure we're not going to die within the next episode. All right, liquid vent down and water being pumped in. So I'm then going to put this pitcher pump down here. We should have a nice close system here. Dexter unfortunately can't build that. I wonder if we can give him the job just quickly to do so. Well, it turns out someone else will do it anyway. Now, is this water going to flow over? It looks like it might do. And here comes the water in to do that. Now we still have a bit of a power issue. But thankfully, these guys have been working hard down here. And as you can see, getting the power system up and running. Not enough to actually put the coal in there yet, but that's because all these are like level 9 jobs, and these take priority over putting the coal in, and I wish like, night time wouldn't come along and interrupt my monologue all the time, literally, like, every time I seem to start talking, I suppose that kind of makes sense as it's like the end of a day's work, I'm like, look at what they've just done hmm, maybe I should start talking in the morning instead. DBF, the morning wasn't all that far away to be fair. Uh, so yeah, as I say these guys have been doing the work down here I'm kind of waiting for someone, just, just anybody, to go ahead and put in a little bit of coal up top there. Actually we do want it out of granite Almost everything's going to be built out of granite from here on because it's nice free decor boost. I mean, like, I've got enough granite that I'm never, ever, ever going to run out, so you might as well use it. Uh, these guys are going to go around and do some jobs. That's looking pretty good. Maybe I want to put this back down to an eight now, these jobs here. The jobs that aren't the pipe work. Um, the, the pipe work's important, I think. Pipe work is very important. It's just like this little bit of heavy watt wire down here. That's also very important. But now, hopefully, someone should be coming along. This this isn't like nines over here. This is nines over here. Okay, well, they're going to get the work done pretty quick, I should imagine. Oh, dear. Oh, we just all watched Piet die there, didn't we? That is a shame. Oh, that is a great shame. Okay, well, where are we going to... We're going to put him there. We're going to put him there. Look at that. Medicine, tasteful memorial. Let's just put it straight there. Let's put the nine down and let that go on. Well, I mean, it looks like we're going to have to get a new couple of duplicates. Was that starvation? I think it was. Uh, so we're going to have to work on that. Suffocation as well. Let's just have a look. Yeah, don't... Dead starvation. Piet... 
I mean, you, you're a little late to be giving me the warning of suffocation. Uh, I've got to be honest. Are, are you not really dead? Are, are you actually some sort of like half dead, unliving thing? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Okay, so if this comes along and gets built here, good work, Cassio. Always the man doing the job here, Cassio. That's why I'm kind of surprised he wasn't the one to die. And also, stress is looking pretty high there. Uh, so we're going to have to try and figure out what's going on with that. It's the lack of power. Lack of power really becoming a problem. Uh, I should have built this vent a little bit lower down, shouldn't I? Let, let's try this again. Let's try this again. We're going to build a liquid vent 9 down there. I'm also going to destroy that one and put in a good liquid source, hopefully leading like that. That should work, right? That should work, hopefully. If people are going to do their job right, maybe. Uh, this this whole mopping situation is getting a little much, but as it's like clean water, I'm not that bothered. The the soggy feet is a bit of an issue, but nothing that I can't work around. Is he going to drop in through the top there? That would be pretty nice if you could. No, come on, just do that last little bit for me, and I will be a happy, happy bunny. No, you're just going to run away and leave it. All right, fine. Whatever. Oh dear, Tarkin's going off on a mad one. Is Tarkin covered with stress? Okay, let's see what we can do about that. Why why are you so stressed up here? I can't I can't assign you to the seat. You should be going for it though. You really should. Well, that's a little bit of a shame there. We've got the uh, the power finally flowing, but of course it's not quite enough to do everything. In fact, if we have a look here, yeah, we're not storing up any power. Maybe we want to uh, pump the priority on these other ones, but not really. I mean, I ideally we want all the jobs for all the other things to a drop down uh, it's a little bit of a shame that everybody is just so so stressed here let's have a look yeah we, we are definitely running in to some troubles i mean if tarkin could just go and chill out on a on a massage bench that that'd be pretty cool that that would be a pretty sound the food appears to be ticking over now Fi finally now that we've got the power running it took too long to get that power running far far too long people are now just eating straight up Lice loaf shouldn't be doing that. No, no, no one should be doing that. But I suppose if you're hungry enough, you're going to do it anyway. Are you expelling, picking up meal lice, eating up meal lice? Yeah, you're stressed. You're stressed. Everyone is super stressed. Uh, so if we if we get these going on on a nine, thankfully they're only like a single use action thing. So people come along, they do the power, and then hopefully. After that, everything should begin to chill out a little bit as the power gets returned. I, I knew we were going to have troubles before cycle 100. I just didn't know exactly when it was going to be. This guy eating all my food out of here is really not helping. Really, really not helping. Okay, so now that we've got all three working, definitely going up on the power stakes there. That's pretty cool. Ah, oh, no. Oh, no. When did he die? I, I didn't notice him die. Okay, so it's time to start bringing back some extra people. Do we have a chef here? We we don't really. Caregiver, caregiver buff, noodle arms. I mean, th this guy's pretty good, but the loud sleeper, not really good for the situation we have set up here. Maybe this guy, he, he's going to be... Um, we're just going to call him chef too, until I can figure out a proper name for him. Uh, unfortunately, the Star Trek universe, not well known for its catering staff, has to be said. So we're, we're going to bring Chef 2 in. Maybe we'll give him a better name at some point. I uh, definitely need to sort out his jobs, though. Um, I, th I, th I, th I thought that just showed me Dexter there. I was like, no! Uh, so you want to do some cooking and some harvesting, and that's it. Get, get to your job, man get to your job. I, I hope you have a good one whilst doing everything you need to do. Yeah, cool. Okay, he's turning stuff over. We should uh, get on top of this starvation pretty quickly, actually. Now that everything is, oh, as long as he doesn't eat stuff that's that's the worst bit there. That's the worst bit. It's like the, the binge eaters coming along and eating all the food that you're trying to turn into a high, high value nutritional snack. Uh, liquid vent is overpressured. That's good. That is about where we want to be. I like the I like these little sinks. They're, they're good ideas. This got shown to me by a good friend Alex uh, back in the day. He was like, dude, you should try this to, to get your water around your base. And I was like, yeah, actually, you know what? That's a very good idea. And then obviously you need to put the pitcher pump thanks to latest updates. Well, that, that's not great. Body temperature. What are we... 30.5. The problem is this water came out hot. This water came out very hot. Thankfully, the temperature around it is managing to keep it down. And this wheeze wart should be going around and fixing the temperature up here. It's going to take a... Now that we've hit equilibrium in this pipe, there's going to be little bits shuttled out constantly whilst this carries on trying to chill it all down. 
I hope. That, that's, that's my great hope here. You can see it is just generally working its way down, so that should be working out a-okay. And with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. I will see you guys next time when we're going to build a graveyard somewhere. That, that seems to be a thing that needs to be done. Going to get this thimble reed farm done that I've been talking about for a little while. Get this oxygen system up and running finally. Uh, and, and generally go around and do all those good things. But I will see you then. Oh, am I gonna do that? Bye!